Today, Aaron interviews Mr. T. Lexify, a black ops zombie YouTuber who hit it big with his 2.5 million view video, Top 5 Zombie Bosses. This episode is brought to you by BenQ, bringing enjoyment and quality to life. What's going on, Freedom Family? My name is Aaron. In today's episode, we're going to dive into another successful YouTuber. Today, we got Lex, our one and only Freedom Partner, Mr. T. Lexify. What's going on, man? Hey guys, Mr. T. Laxify here, and I'm ready to do this interview. I'm so excited. I've been, it's like, honestly, he's been asking me to do it. I'm just like, ah, I don't know, baby, baby. But you know what? I'm ready this time. Let's do this. Let's do beast, this. Beast, beast. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I'm sure the Freedom Family is going to absolutely love and enjoy all the tips and tricks that you actually have figured out along your way, considering you're like, uh, uh, I guess you're in the MGN status. So MGN status, big partner of Freedom. We're going to help out the little small guys to help them yep. get up into MGN status. Yeah, yeah, I'm here for you guys. I'm here for you. That's right. That's right. Okay. All right. <laughs> let's, let, let's get to this, man. Let's get to this. Okay. okay. So one thing I always ask people is, uh, when did they first start? And the reason why is because a lot people um think that they can be an overnight sensation but that's not the case right. sometimes it takes course, a lot yeah. a lot of work uh, mm -hmm. to get into uh, the full-fledged audience coming into your uh, channel so when did you actually start uh, uploading videos well i started at around i believe march 2013 i upload i started my channel about five days before i uploaded my first video my first video i still love it still on my main channel if you click on my channel it's my unsubscribe trailer it's it's hilarious I love oh it. nice I enjoyed it. it's just the funny video saying i'm in the picture now what's up and that's it it's it's kind of like a channel trailer almost but after that i sort of kind of died the reason i started youtube was because I, all my friends had moved from console gaming to pc gaming and i it was just me and one, my one friend richie and we just play zombies all the time i'm like man we need to find some better zombie players so i was like why not start off this youtube thing so i got onto youtube and i was like okay guys my gamer tags in the description if you want to play just come down check out the description i only have xbox i don't have ps3 and we were able to play it was a lot of fun but i sort of tried to go for a, a unique approach with my zombie weapon comparisons and then later on my top fives which is obviously my most successful series on my channel yeah man. but yeah it's it's that's basically how i started i sort of had like a a year kind of where i didn't upload anything but other than that it was just amazing after i restarted and i kind of gave up and my friends were like you know you had something going on maybe you should try again and now this is where i am it's amazing I love it, and that's that. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. So then you actually had some adversity there, a uh, little bit of failure. Right. Um, yeah. What was it? Were you like burned out, or well, did you just realize that the audience wasn't clicking? Or I, I guess I kind of burned out, but I believe I was a very lucky case because in one of my first couple of videos, I think I might have deleted it. No, I didn't delete it. One of my great friends, Patrick or the Smith plays, he actually noticed me when I was under a hundred subscribers, and he oh, was like, "Yeah, he was that close to three thousand, four thousand subscribers." He liked my video. And then I just, I got subscribed. I got a thousand subscribers, I believe in like two weeks in a month. It was crazy. I, he was a huge help. And without him, I don't think I'd be where I am today. So big thanks nice. to you, Pat, if you're watching. <laughs> nice. So then yeah, yeah. Uh, collaboration in that sense definitely oh, helps sure. you out. Yeah, yeah, definitely in the beginning. If you get a collaboration with a guy your size or even bigger, it's it does all the world to you. It's absolutely amazing. It helps you so much. It's nice. So would you say that collaboration is like the biggest important um, factor to make a successful channel? Or is there like another um, key ingredient that would, uh, actually works? Well, I would have to say it's a mixture of both, but obviously when people think of your channel, they don't think of someone else's channel. They think of you. What do you bring to the table that YouTube can sort of see if you're going to be famous with their algorithms? It's just basically how unique are you to everyone else? Are you going to go on to uh, one YouTube channel to watch this content that's more unique than the other? And that's why I believe that collaborations are very nice to start off at the beginning, but to grow your channel successfully, you really have to stand out. And that's a huge part, that's a huge tip I can give to you guys, is to stand out from everyone else. Think about it for a sec, think about an idea, 
plan on it, go for it, and I believe you will succeed if you just keep trying and if you keep going. So that's so, definitely true. So you're saying like originality and creativity, obviously standing out from the rest, because it's what, sure. the, the yeah, YouTube yeah. space is like this big gigantic cloud, and everyone's just like you know embedded in it, and so it's really hard to pick out a speck if you're that yeah. tiny speck yeah. trying to do the same thing that maybe hundreds of thousands of other channels are trying to do. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's good. Yeah. What would you say? It's good to have an inspiration to look up to, but obviously, don't mimic them. Be be your own yeah, self. Be be your own self. And many people say this all the time. You gotta bring something new to the table. If you're going yeah. to be like Ali or T Martin, why would I watch you? If you? I already have two people like that. T Martin. Right. Yeah. You you want to have the actual you uh, gotta T Martin. You don't want the replica. Yeah. Yes. Course, yeah. What did you find out that like one video you uploaded and then you're like, yo, I got something here. Well, <laughs> my <laughs> most viewed video, my top five zombie bosses, my first. Yes, video. that one was awesome. Wow. I did see that. Um, one. That was a big revelation because when I first uploaded that video and I just saw the views kept rising, I kind of still was about to burn out for my second time. But then that video came out and I was just like, wow, there's some sort of potential here. I honestly didn't know that it would be that big. Um, there's a lot of people that sort of started top fives before I did, but this top five is probably, I might have to even say, the most viewed on YouTube for zombies in general. It's it's insane. I don't know how it got that big. It's some sort yeah. of algorithms. YouTube views, I do have to say, guys, this is a big hint as well. It's random. It just happens sometimes that you get big amount of views, and sometimes you don't. You just got to... Gotta suck it up, keep going, and that's YouTube, man. It's kind of like a job in that way. You gotta just keep on going, whether it's bad or whether it's good. Now, here's something that's funny. Watch this, ready? Um, this can make or break, or it's unnecessary. But I know that it's important that in the first six seconds, audience retention, the audience's right. retention lasts about that long. You have six right. seconds to catch someone to stay on for another minute. Mm -hmm. Right, that's that's so true. isn't it true that like those first six seconds you got to have some type of jazzy saying yeah. or <laughs> intro like what you're saying because obviously you've proven it mm -hmm. yep um i've seen some channels i don't know if it's just because maybe they have other qualities mm -hmm. but would you say though that it, it is kind of important to uh, like relate to your audience and just have something for them to say for the first like 10 seconds with you as for in sure. like you yeah. and the audience are saying it together mm -hmm. let's have a good time and yeah. just dive into the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Because YouTube, um, people don't watch your content just for the content. They want a personality behind it. This yeah, could be that's one of the huge true. reasons why people like PewDiePie and Smosh are like the, one of the top YouTubers out there. They've got a great personality. It's fun ex and it's exciting. It's not monotone. If you, no one wants to watch your videos if you're going to be sad. And just not happy you gotta bring something absolutely exciting to the table that's why people love t martin he's always excited it's hilarious but yeah it's amazing so yeah and that's really guy's funny like his intros are kind of weak it's like hey guys t martin here in today's video like it's just <laughs> yeah it's but, but then it's, again yeah. it's it's jazzy it's it's, it's a beat jazzy. i mean you see there, it's it's great honestly if you're happy you're gonna make your viewers happy and that's a great lesson to be learned so yeah that's just something to keep in mind yeah, man. <laughs> okay, so last question, which I ask all of my uh, yes. celebrity YouTubers on this show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Be prepared. It's it's, okay. it's coming at you. Um, okay, a guilty pleasure based on a song. I actually asked this question to somebody, and he goes, so, like, a literal pleasure that I feel guilty about? I was like, no! Are you kidding me? <laughs> so it's like I have to explain what I mean by when I say guilty sure. pleasure. So it's a song that you rock out to, you jam to in the car, in the shower, whatever, and you are incredibly embarrassed and you don't want to tell anybody that this is your jam. Sometimes I listen to Taylor Swift and people are like wondering like, I, you're listening to Taylor Swift and then I just back them up with my personality and I'm, I'm of course I'm listening to t Taylor Swift. Like why not? Okay, like, okay, so what's your favorite I, Taylor I Swift fan? Or what's your favorite uh, Taylor Swift song? Um, I love Back It Off, I think it's called, or was it, Oh, To be uh, honest, I think I maybe know one or two Taylor Swift songs, so I'm not yeah, a I, fan at all. I love the Love Story one. I don't know the songs in general, but like when I'm listening to the radio and I'm just sort of like listening out and people are looking at me, they're just kind of like, <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking and about. it's just like, really? And I'm like, sorry, man, it's just it's a good song. It's like, so, oh, you can't <laughs> hear it? Wait, hold on, you can't, okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah, now you feeling it? You feeling what I'm feeling? <laughs> yeah. 
Thanks for coming out. I no uh, hope that everybody no enjoyed uh, watching Mr. T Lex. Do you have one last final thing to say to the Freedom Family? Um, Anything? Tip? Hon honestly, for tips, guys, if you need a network, join Freedom. They've got great everything they've got great support they'll be there for you you can contact anyone pretty much in a heartbeat join this network it's not too hard to join i don't know the minimum requirements because there is none there is none there you go guys there is none and there's no lock in you're always that's right you always leave that's one of the greatest perks of a channel network ever a lot of channels lock you in for like five years no this you can just leave at any time we got great people here Join down, guys. It's amazing. Come on down. Come on in. <laughs> Come on in. You Speaking from one months. of our biggest guys over at yeah, MGN. Yeah. It's amazing. It's great. Yeah. All right, man. Well, thanks again for coming out. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have anybody in particular that you want to see on the next show, put it in the comments below. And until next time, uh, my name is Aaron. And, yeah, you're watching Impulse. Freedom family, my name is Aaron, and today's episode on Impulse, we got another awesome YouTuber that's gonna explain to you guys how in the world he did it. He got so huge just doing scare videos, just like Fight Nights of Freddy and Slender and all the other crazy games that caused you to just blow out of your seat. His name is Blasphemous HD, and we're gonna dive right into his mind and figure out how in the world he did it through a live interview. This one, you're gonna see me. It's, you're gonna react to it. You're gonna be pretty crazy. Tense.